Okay, so submitted for your approval, uh, people of Imperial County, Imperial Valley, and Mexicali as well. This is what I think is going on with all these earthquakes here. And uh, I'm just thinking, you know, it's kind of like it's wobbling back and forth, right? Uh, and kind of like a waterbed, right? What's a waterbed? Well, you have a liquid contained within a bubble. So that's the earth, you know, essentially in the crust. All right, we understand that. Uh, but you can have that as a more small example because in the waterbed, <clears throat> what's happening is that it's in a frame. So what's a frame to the Imperial Valley? Uh, the two plates, but it's also the mountain ranges. So uh, as a result, it's like the fault line is a huge, big, you know, crack in the earth that's running, you know, through. But there's a little different fault lines. Why? Well, because you know is if the land is like this, you know, it's not going to be solid because it's a sphere. It has to, you know, go down towards the center. So you're going to have, like, things like this that go down. And as a result, um, it's like there's little cups or, or like, little, you know, uh, segments of earth that rest in there. So essentially, Imperial Valley is one of those, you know, sits in one of those segments. Also think of a, uh, an hourglass with the sand. Um, you know, or like when you play with dirt, you know, and, uh, you know, it's a dirt clog and you break it apart, you know, but you pick it up, it's several different clogs, you know, you know, grouped together. Well, sorry, if that doesn't make sense. But essentially, you know, the land is just rocking back and forth. So what's going on? Uh, the geothermal thing is essentially pump water into position A here and pull, you know, hot water out from position B here have a machine in the center here that, you know, converts the heat from, uh, you know, the hot stuff to another hot stuff, which powers the turbine, and, you know, everybody's happy. Cool. Right. Thing is, though, you're saturating the soil at the, um, mantle, you know, strata, you know, uh, level. Really, what it is is that you're putting water into these cracks, into these fault lines. As a result, you're making the, the uh, fault lines more fluid. Uh, you're reducing the tension, which is, you know, essentially what makes the earthquakes, uh, uh, what should I call it, you know, have, you know, what makes the earthquakes happen is when the two fault lines just shift dramatically uh, because there's so much pressure going on, you know, because that is two massive pieces of, you know, uh, of the earth moving apart. Okay, so earthquakes are always happening. That's, the, you know, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but these earthquakes, you can feel them a bit more. So why is that? Uh, you're saturating the soil. Things are becoming more fluid. Maybe this is all these you know, movements are natural. So as a result, we're actually helping the process, and we're actually softening, cushioning uh, the movement of the you know the tectonics. Uh, so how long have we had geothermal in the Imperial County? Where has the geothermal, you know, planets been? And is there some way to track that data all the up and down the San Andreas Fault running through California? But is this a good or a bad thing that we get all these, you know, minor tremors all the time? So, this stuff I'm thinking about, this stuff I'm trying to figure out.